lyrics for class. class. Rap lyrics for class. We got rap lyrics for class. Rap lyrics for class. We got rap lyrics for class. Welcome back to Rap Lyrics for Class. I'm your host, Camilla Wahi. We bring you lyrics, I don't mean lyrics, socially uh, conscious lyrics, lyrics that speak to your soul and your conscious. All right, so we're going to jump right in, Rap Lyrics for Class. Today, our guest from San Diego, West Coast, we have Jermaine Simpson, Jermaine Simpson, a.k.a. Complex. Give it up, give it up. Thank you. How are you today, sir? Oh, I'm blessed. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm excited. I'm excited. But what I want to get to right now, um, Complex, I want to get into you. I want to get into your head. I, I want you to, um, I want to play one of your songs. And then we're going to talk a little bit about that. Because I, um, I was really impressed, you know, with what you um, you, you put out just this January 2021. And uh, after you said you took a, a little hiatus, I'm like, okay, bro, you need to keep on doing this. You don't, we don't need you on hiatus, right? So I'm gonna, um, can we get, can we uh, hear one of uh, Complex's song? I think uh, it's Word is Life. Yes, yeah, let's do that. Production by Cricket, 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 Cricket. I mean, everybody that's been part of this life has a story and they have their own story to tell. And uh, talking about it and writing about it is very therapeutic to me when I talk about it and write about it. But it also enlightened me on myself and started teaching me about myself. The writing's on the wall like graffiti and hieroglyphs Living out my script like my life is a biopic Staying true to me every day is an opportunity To manifest my purpose, I'm writing my own eulogy Write for all the people that's written off The kids in the system in the streets considered lost Trying to find a voice in this world come with a cost Rap was an outlet to express my inner thoughts Trying to be somebody didn't have no plan though My jump shot was trash and I ain't have no handles Guess sports wasn't me, started writing to be free I write for Lil Bay Loke and see we three I used to write for my peers, now I write to face fears I write when I'm in pain cause it's hard shedding tears I'm writing for the freedom of generations ahead of me I'm writing for the culture, my kids and my legacy This is my story, my journey, my plight Give my heart to the world when I write My word is my life It's the love, it's the art, it's the pain and the fight From the page to the mic, my word is my life This is my story, my journey, my plight Give my heart to the world when I write My word is my life It's the love, it's the art, it's the pain and the fight From the page to the mic, my word is my life. We can laugh, cuss, and cry in the same breath. So people get high till there's no more pain left. Alcohol, opioids, crack, cocaine, meth. They lying to the kids cause it's hard to explain death. In childhood, I learned to be cynical. Keep quiet and listen. Trust my intuition and question people's intentions. Sniff out frauds, spot the snakes in the lawn. You learn a lot from dope things, hustlers and cons. But I got so much love that my cup's never empty. My spirit's unbreakable. The ancestors lift me and keep me on the right path to doing my best. But everybody falls short. We all a beautiful mess. My view of success, peace of mind, family and freedom. My big bro stay solid. Always there when I need them Much love to all the real ones Who stood in the pocket with me Life is good and the hood still rocking My story, my journey, my plight Give my heart to the world when I write My word is my life It's the love, it's the art It's the pain and the fight From the page to the mic My word is my life My story, my journey, my plight Give my heart to the world when I write My word is my life It's the love, it's the art It's the pain and the fight From the page to the mic My word is my life That's 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 gonna stay in my my um Spotify playlist for a minute. <laughs> Real talk, I ain't gonna hold you. Um, so where was your headspace there? And I have two questions. Where was your headspace um, writing that song? And how does your son feel about that song? Let's see, my headspace. Uh, um, just well. It has started with the um, the person at speaking in the beginning, uh, Curtis Howard. Um, he's a friend of mine. He was a guest on my podcast, and he was just um, talking about his process of writing his book when he was in prison. And we got into a conversation with uh, about uh, just how writing has 
um, affected his life and, and sort of how powerful writing is and being able to tell your story. And that was something that was lingering in me, it's lingering with me that I wanted to just just write about and, and, and just give life to. And so I had the, the first few bars, the writings on the wall, like graffiti and hieroglyphs, living out my script, like my life is a biopic. I had already had those bars um, and was trying to figure out where I'm gonna go with it. And then once I got the beat, um, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. this is, this is what I'm gonna use. And, and, and the song kind of wrote itself. I just really had to dig deep and just go back to the beginning when I was 13 and and, and why and how, you know, lyrics and, and just writing and, and just rapping was powerful mm -hmm. for me, how it was impactful for me. And I, I felt like I just really had to just be authentic and go deep and and so that was my head. I just wanted to pay homage to um, just the art and what it's done for me um, and how it's allowed me to be my authentic self and, and, and to have power also. That was the first form of social capital that I had. I wasn't a good athlete. You know, I wasn't, I was quiet, but when people found out I had some bars, it was like instant social capital. And so that meant so much for a 13, 14 year old you know, black kid, you know, and so I just I was in that in that type of spirit. Right. So you were 13, 14. So that that brings me to the next question, like with your son. Do you guys like how does he because sometimes like kids, like, eh, my dad's a rapper, my mom's a rapper. Eh. But sometimes they like, yeah, my dad's a rapper. So where's his <laughs> perspective on all this? I found out he'd be sharing my stuff with his friends. He'd be bragging on the under. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've always tried to, because he really don't know rapper dad, because I've been off 15 years. Mm -hmm. And so he's been in the studio with me a couple times. But um, when he started writing, I tried to keep myself out of it. No unsolicited advice. I want his process to be his own. Right. And so we started having these conversations about hip hop and stuff. And, and uh, you know he he, he he's impressed. He he know he know he know I can spit, and so uh, that's what's up. <laughs> I was honored, and uh, um, you know that he he acknowledges um, mm -hmm. you know my music, and and he likes it, and um, it ain't his style, mm -hmm. but I feel like I've done a good job because he appreciates lyrics. You know he right. loves Nas, he loves Eminem, and he loves some of the some of the greats. And so I don't want to uh, push my stuff on him, but I'm just appreciative that he recognizes, you know, yeah. the artistry of it. And um, so I, I love it. I love the conversations. Awesome. That's 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 all respect. You know, I'm, 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 he's proud because if he wasn't, he wouldn't be sharing it. Trust me. <laughs> I had the same experience. Like, so, oh, so you shared my song. Oh, OK, you act like you didn't like it, but OK. So that's good. Congratulations. That's that sounds like a, a great relationship um, that you, you guys have. And um, thank you again for um, taking the time to come to Rap Lyrics for Class, um, encouraging our young people out here, telling your story, letting us hear your music. It's awesome. Oh, before we leave, I always ask this question. Who's your favorite female MC? Uh, I was just talking about this. Right now is Rhapsody. Yes. Uh, before it was Lady of Rage. Now oh. it's Rhapsody. But I got to give a special shout to Shea Noir and Psalm One from Chicago. They are okay. so dope. They don't get the credit they deserve, but they are in my playlist. I bumped their stuff. So Psalm One, Shea Noir. They dope. Send me, send me their link. I got to check them out. But Rhapsody, Lady of Rage was always one of my favorite. But yeah, definitely send me their link so I can check them out. Who's yours? Oh, mine's MC Light, Roxanne Shante. I can go, you know, my OGs. But you, actually, I like Cardi B. She's hilarious. She keeps it 100. You know, she a little rowdy on her lyrics sometimes, but I like because she's real. You know, she's real. Yep. <laughs> All right. Once again, thank you so much. This was fun. Um, we got to connect again. We got to get you out here on the East Coast. Maybe we can come visit you guys. 
and, um, you know, do some things together. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Rap lyrics for class. We out. Shout out to Engineer Will, Big Brother Will back there. Lamar J. We got Jay on the video. And we have executive producer uh, Joe Malachi coming together as a team, making this thing happen. And we out. Rap lyrics for class. Rap lyrics for class. We got rap lyrics for class. Rap lyrics for class. We got rap lyrics for class. Class. We got rap lyrics for class. Rap lyrics for class. We got rap lyrics for class.